In theoretical physics, the Weinberg-Witten theorem, proved by Steven Weinberg and Edward Witten, states that massless particles either composite or elementary with spin j greater than one half cannot carry a Lorentz covariant current, while massless particles with spin j greater than one cannot carry a Lorentz covariant stress energy. The theorem is usually interpreted to mean that the graviton j equals two cannot be a composite particle in a relativistic quantum field theory. Equals. Topic background. Equals. During the 1980s, prion theories, technicolor and the like were very popular and some people speculated that gravity might be an emergent phenomenon or that gluons might be composite. Weinberg and Witten, on the other hand, developed a no-go theorem that excludes, under very general assumptions, the hypothetical composite and emergent theories. Decades later new theories of emergent gravity are proposed and mainstream high-energy physicists are still using this theorem to debunk such theories. Because most of these emergent theories aren't Lorentz covariant, the WW theorem doesn't apply. The violation of Lorentz covariance, however, usually leads to other problems. Theorem Weinberg and Witten proved two separate results. According to them, the first is due to Sidney Coleman, who did not publish it. A 3 plus 1 dqft quantum field theory with a conserved four-vector current J mu display style J caret mu C4 current, which is Poincaré covariant and gauge invariant if there happens to be any gauge symmetry which hasn't been gauge fixed, does not admit massless particles with helicity h greater than one half that also have non-zero charges associated with the conserved current in question. A 3 plus 1 dqft with a conserved stress energy tensor T mu nu display style T caret mu nu which is Poincaré covariant and gauge invariant if there happens to be any gauge symmetry which hasn't been gauge fixed does not admit massless particles with helicity h greater than 1 topic a sketch of the proof the conserved charge q is given by d 3 x j 0 display style int d caret 3 x j caret 0 we shall consider the matrix elements of the charge and of the current j mu display style j caret mu for one particle asymptotic states of equal helicity p display style p wrangle and p display style p wrangle Labeled by their light-like four momenta, we shall consider the case in which p minus p display style p p isn't null, which means that the momentum transfer is space-like. Let q be the eigenvalue of those states for the charge operator q, so that q delta three p minus p equals p q p equals d 3 x p j 0 x 0 p equals d 3 x p e Minus I P X J zero 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 E I P X P equals D three X E I P Minus P X P J 
zero 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 P equals two Pi three Delta three P minus P P J zero 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 P display style begin aligned q delta carrot three vec p vec p equals langle p q p wrangle and equals in d carrot three x langle p j carrot zero vec x zero p wrangle and equals in d carrot three x langle p e carrot i vec p c d o t vec x j carrot zero 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 e carrot i vec p c d o t vec x p wrangle and equals in d carrot three x e carrot i vec p vec p c d o t vec x langle p j carrot zero 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 p wrangle equals two pi carrot three delta carrot three vec p vec p langle p j carrot zero 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 p wrangle end aligned where we have now made use of translational covariance, which is part of the Poincaré covariance. Thus p j zero zero p equals q two pi three display style langle p j caret zero zero p wrangle equals frac q two pi caret three with q does not equal zero display style q n e q zero. Let's transform to a reference frame where p moves along the positive z axis and p moves along the negative z axis. This is always possible for any space-like momentum transfer. In this reference frame. P J zero zero P display style Langle P J carrot zero zero P wrangle and P J three zero P display style Langle P J carrot three zero P wrangle change by the phase factor E I H minus minus H theta equals E two I H theta display style E carrot I H H theta equals E carrot two I H theta under rotations by theta counterclockwise about the z axis, whereas P J one zero plus I J two zero P display style Langle P J carrot one zero plus I J carrot two zero P wrangle and P J one zero minus I J two zero P Display style Langle P J carrot one zero I J carrot two zero P Wrangle Change by the phase factors E I two H plus one theta Display style E carrot I two H plus one theta and E I two H minus one theta Display style E carrot I two H minus one theta respectively. If H is non zero, we need to specify the phases of states. In general, this can't be done in a Lorentz invariant way. See Thomas precession, but the one-particle Hilbert space is Lorentz covariant. So, if we make any arbitrary but fixed choice for the phases, then each of the matrix components in the previous paragraph has to be invariant under the rotations about the z-axis. So, unless h equals zero or one half, all of the components have to be zero. Weinberg and Witten did not assume the continuity. P J zero zero P equals Lim P P P 
j 0 0 p display style wrangle p j caret 0 0 p wrangle equals lim underscore p right arrow p wrangle p j caret 0 0 p wrangle Rather, the authors argue that the physical i.e., the measurable quantum numbers of a massless particle are always defined by the matrix elements in the limit of zero momentum, defined for a sequence of space-like momentum transfers. Also, delta 3 p minus p display style delta caret 3 vec p vec p in the first equation can be replaced by Smeared out Dirac delta function, which corresponds to performing the d three x display style d caret three x volume integral over a finite box. The proof of the second part of theorem is completely analogous, replacing the matrix elements of the current with the matrix elements of the stress energy tensor T mu nu display style t caret mu nu p mu equals d 3 x t mu 0 x 0 display style p caret mu equals in d caret 3 x t caret mu 0 vec x 0 and p T O O zero P equals E two Pi three Display style Langle P T carrot O O zero P Wrangle equals frac E two Pi carrot three with E does not equal zero Display style E N E Q zero for space-like momentum transfers, we can go to the reference frame where p plus p is along the t-axis and p minus p is along the z-axis. In this reference frame, the components of p t zero p display style p math bf t zero p wrangle transforms as e i two h Minus two theta display style e caret i two h minus two theta e i two h minus one theta display style e caret i two h minus one theta e i two h theta Display style e caret i two h theta e i two h plus one theta. Display style e caret i two h plus one theta or e i two h plus two theta. Display style e caret i two h plus two theta under a rotation by theta about the z axis. Similarly, we can conclude that h equals zero one two one display style h equals zero frac one two one. Note that this theorem also applies to free field theories. If they contain massless particles with the wrong helicity charge, they have to be gauge theories. Topic: <laughs> Ruling out emergent theories. What does this theorem have to do with emergence composite theories? If let's say gravity is an emergent theory of a fundamentally flat theory over a flat Minkowski spacetime, then by Noether's theorem, we have a conserved stress-energy tensor which is Poincaré covariant. If the theory has an internal gauge symmetry of the Yang-Mills kind, we may pick the Bellenfante-Rosenfeld stress-energy tensor which is gauge invariant. 
as there is no fundamental diffeomorphism symmetry, we don't have to worry about that this tensor isn't BRST closed under diffeomorphisms. So, the Weinberg Witten theorem applies and we can't get a massless spin 2, i.e., helicity plus or minus 2 composite, emergent graviton. If we have a theory with a fundamental conserved four current associated with a global symmetry, then we can't have emergent, composite massless spin 1 particles which are charged under that global symmetry. Theories where the theorem is inapplicable Non-abelian gauge theories There are a number of ways to see why non-abelian Yang–Mills theories in the Coulomb phase don't violate this theorem. Yang–Mills theories don't have any conserved four current associated with the Yang–Mills charges that are both Poincaré covariant and gauge invariant. Noether's theorem gives a current which is conserved and Poincaré covariant, but not gauge invariant. As p greater than is really an element of the BRST cohomology, i.e. a quotient space, it is really an equivalence class of states. As such, p j p display style wrangle p j p wrangle is only well defined if j is BRST closed. But if j isn't gauge invariant, then j isn't BRST closed in general. The current defined as j mu x delta delta a mu x s m a t t e r Display style j caret mu x equivalent frac delta delta a underscore mu x s underscore mathrm matter is not conserved because it satisfies d mu j mu equals zero. Display style d underscore mu j caret mu equals zero instead of mu j mu equals 0 display style partial underscore mu j caret mu equals 0 where d is the covariant derivative the current defined after a gauge fixing like the coulomb gauge is conserved but isn't lorentz covariant topic <laughs> spontaneously broken gauge theories The gauge bosons associated with spontaneously broken symmetries are massive. For example, in QCD, we have electrically charged rho mesons which can be described by an emergent hidden gauge symmetry which is spontaneously broken. Therefore, there is nothing in principle stopping us from having composite pre and models of W and Z bosons. On a similar note, even though the photon is charged under the SU weak symmetry because it is the gauge boson associated with a linear combination of weak isosphan and hypercharge, it is also moving through a condensate of such charges, and so, isn't an exact eigenstate of the weak charges and this theorem doesn't apply either. <laughs> Massive gravity On a similar note, it is possible to have a composite, emergent theory of massive gravity. General relativity In GR, we have diffeomorphisms and a, psi greater than over an element, psi greater than of the BRST cohomology only makes sense if a is BRST closed. There are no local BRST closed operators and this includes any stress energy tensor that we can think of. Topic: <inaudible> Induced gravity. In induced gravity, the fundamental theory is also diffeomorphism invariant and the same comment applies. Topic: <inaudible> Cyberg duality. If we take n equals one chiral super QCD with n C colors and n F flavors with n F minus two n C 
greater than 2 3 n f display style n underscore f minus 2 g e q n underscore c greater than frac 2 3 n underscore f then by the Seiberg duality, this theory is dual to a non-abelian S U N F minus N C display style su n underscore f n underscore c gauge theory, which is trivial, i.e., free in the infrared limit. As such, the dual theory doesn't suffer from any infraparticle problem or a continuous mass spectrum. Despite this, the dual theory is still a non-abelian Yang-Mills theory. Because of this, the dual magnetic current still suffers from all the same problems even though it is an emergent current. Free theories aren't exempt from the Weinberg-Witten theorem. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Conformal field theory. In a conformal field theory, the only truly massless particles are non-interacting singletons see singleton field. The other particles bound states have a continuous mass spectrum which can take on any arbitrarily small non-zero mass. So, we can have spin minus three halves and spin two bound states with arbitrarily small masses but still not violate the theorem. In other words, they are infraparticles. Topic infraparticles Two otherwise identical charged infraparticles moving with different velocities belong to different superselection sectors. Let's say they have momenta p and p respectively. Then as j mu is a local neutral operator, it does not map between different superselection sectors. So, p, j mu p greater than is zero. The only way, p greater than and, p greater than can belong in the same sector is if they have the same velocity, which means that they are proportional to each other, i.e. a null or zero momentum transfer, which isn't covered in the proof. So, infraparticles violate the continuity assumption p, j0, 0, 0, p equals lim p, 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 j0, 0, 0, p, display style, langle p, j carrot, 0, 0, p, wrangle equals, lim underscore p, right arrow p, langle p, j carrot, 0, 0, p, wrangle. This doesn't mean, of course, that the momentum of a charged particle can't change by some space like momentum. It only means that if the incoming state is a one infraparticle state, then the outgoing state contains an infraparticle together with a number of soft quanta. This is nothing other than the inevitable Bremsstrahlung. But this also means that the outgoing state isn't a one particle state. <laughs> Theories with non local charges Obviously, a non-local charge does not have a local four current and a theory with a non-local four momentum does not have a local stress energy tensor. Topic: <laughs> Acoustic metric theories and analog model of gravity. These theories are not Lorentz covariant. However, some of these theories can give rise to an approximate emergent Lorentz symmetry at low energies so that we can both have the cake and eat it too. Topic: <laughs> Superstring theory. Superstring theory defined over a background metric possibly with some fluxes over a 10d space which is the product of a flat 4d Minkowski space and a compact 6d space has a massless graviton in its spectrum. This is an emergent particle coming from the vibrations of a superstring. Let's look at how we would go about defining the stress-energy tensor. The background is given by G the metric, and a couple of other fields. The effective action is a functional of the background. The VEV of the stress-energy tensor is then defined as the functional derivative T M N X 1 minus G delta delta G M N X gamma background display style T caret M N X equivalent frac one sqrt G frac delta delta G underscore M N X gamma text background. The stress energy operator is defined as a vertex operator corresponding to this infinitesimal change in the background metric. 
Not all backgrounds are permissible. Superstrings have to have superconformal symmetry, which is a supergeneralization of Weyl symmetry, in order to be consistent but they are only superconformal when propagating over some special backgrounds which satisfy the Einstein field equations plus some higher order corrections. Because of this, the effective action is only defined over these special backgrounds and the functional derivative is not well defined. The vertex operator for the stress-energy tensor at a point also doesn't exist. <laughs> 